And now, are you ready for Rachel? to welcome our next guest. He is the host of America's Test Kitchen, now in its 15th season. And he is one of the editors of the new family cookbook. Um, it is over 1,100 recipes. I think, uh, and I've written 20 cookbooks, I think this is the biggest value any family can have in their kitchen. Um, and I'm not just saying that. I truly love this book. We think he's a rock star. Please welcome back to our show the most trusted tester of recipes and gadgets. This is Christopher Kimball. And very dapper, may I also say. Who else wears a bow tie? No one wears it as well as you. I'll just answer. When I go that. to LA, people go, like, "What's what's that?" <laughs> yeah, exactly. They don't, they don't recognize. They don't it. do bow ties. They don't here. do bow ties in LA. Jesse Tyler Ferguson's bringing them back out there. He oh, really? has a bow tie company. Yeah, uh, we're gonna we're gonna work on it. I Justin was first, Timber 1980. Right. I just want to 35 you, years. Bring them back for 35 years. Um, so today we're going to talk about uh, five new gadgets. Where do you want to start? This end or that end? Let's start with pizza. Start over here. I love making pizza. So here's the problem with pizza. If you are, I was in Naples a few years ago. I went mm -hmm. to Michela's, Michael's. Mm -hmm. They cooked a pizza in about a minute, 10 seconds. Yeah. They have such a 900 degree oven. Mm -hmm. The problem is your oven at home doesn't get that hot. So we have a baking steel instead of a baking stone. Oh, really? And it's, it's heavy. It's about 15 pounds. But what it does is it gets the bottom of the crust really that nice, sort of very dark color. It's got, it's got yeah. the same effect as putting it into yeah, a wood burning and, oven. Yeah, and it also heats up faster in the oven, about 30 minutes. We have a couple of tricks. One is to, to broil it after you heat it up. Put the uh, oven on broil mm -hmm. and put the baking steel about two-thirds of the way up. That really super preheats it. Right. And then you put For the... For half an hour. Well, you, you half an hour at, at 500. Then, then turn broil the broiler for 10 on. minutes. Okay. Turn the broiler off, put the pizza in, and don't leave. <laughs> right, right, right. If you, if you take a phone call, if you can say something, it's you're over. done. You're it's, over. It's, it's about over. eight minutes instead of 12 minutes. <laughs> but the, the secret is very often, if you put it at the bottom, the bottom of the crust overcooks by the time the top gets done. And the top done. is raw and mushy. Yeah. yeah. So that's why you should actually cook it towards the top of the oven, not the bottom of the oven. So you get that even. Yeah, that is yeah, a problem. Same. Even if you get a successful crust on the bottom, you find it still a little squishy on the top, right? Yeah. So show us how to make a pizza. Well, there's a few things. If you're going to do the edges, you pick it up like this mm -hmm. and go like that to get the edges. Edges right, which is helpful, and also if you want to stretch out the center, it makes it a little easier to manipulate. It makes it a little bit easier to manipulate. So you went about 12 or 13 inches like that, mm -hmm. and then we will put a little bit of sauce. A little um, bit of sauce, right? I, I think some people get into trouble when they over sauce. It gets a little bit too wet for them. Do they not? Also, I actually do this on a grill too. I throw the oh, grill, yeah, that's great. turn it over, top it, and I put a disposal aluminum uh, roasting pan on top to finish it off. Oh, good, good. Yeah. Oh, that's a neat trick. I haven't done that yet. And also, not too much cheese. It, it's a little bit. It's sparing, right? Yeah, it's sparing. Oh. It's racist. Come on, let's put a little more cheese on it. <laughs> I know. Come right? on. And then a little bit of cornmeal on the peel uh, right. as well. I love the texture and the flavor of a little bit of cornmeal on that. So I think we have one in the oven. One already working? Take up, yeah. Oh, that's See. a beaut. So this is the baking steel here. Oh, look at that. It's gorgeous. Oh, bravo. You know, when you're cooking at home, oh. you have an audience. Isn't that I, I, amazing? You guys come home with me, please, so I can... It gets so... Oh. You know, I go home and I, I, I start talking to my food. And, uh, you know, I pour a glass of wine, I'm having fun, and I, there's no laughter, there's no, woo, that's so interesting. I feel like, I feel really a failure in my own kitchen now. You guys have to start coming home with me, I think, at the end of the day. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so I am going to uh, sign myself up for one of those uh, pizza steels. So I think that's it's about brilliant. 70 bucks, it's called the baking steel. The baking steel. And it's much better than a baking stone. Awesome. I love it when you stop by. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
Thank you so much to my great friend Christopher Kimball. Check him out, of course, on America's Test Kitchen on PBS. You guys check your local listings. We put all the information up for all of these gadgets up on our website. But guess what? You want to do a cookie cheers on yeah. this? They're going to go crazy. Everybody in the audience gets all of the gadgets!